Okay, today we're removing tooth number 11. Tooth number 11 has a crown that's just gotten more and more decayed underneath. If any of this bothers you, just let me know, okay? Mm -hmm. So that carrier's portion moved, but it just kind of folded right there. Okay, so we got the tooth out, and I'm um, going to try to put the osteotomy for the implant. The bone right here, there was a fenestration right up in here. So we can bone graft that, because we're going to be putting the implant toward the palatal. Okay, so when you're doing these osteotomies in an irregular socket um, and you toward the palatal, um, if you don't have any walls in your osteotomy that help keep this in place, it tends to want to be pushed toward the facial. But this osteotomy has a little bit of a wall coming around this end, so it's keeping it straight. Okay, so we checked our state plate, and um, while we're getting the bone graft ready, we're going to graft that space. We're using uh, Dynagraft D, freeze dried bone, and tetracycline. Actually, I put some P15 in here also. P15 is non resorbable. Because um, I want to use something on the buckle here that's not going to remodel as much so we can hopefully keep this root prominence okay. so we're going to profile the bone now so we've got our little guide in there Now you can see that if we didn't profile the bone, that healing the bone is not going to see. So that's a real necessary part of this procedure. So we got our stay plate adjusted. We had a stay plate with an ovate ponic originally because um, we weren't sure if we were going to get this implant in at the same time. Mm -hmm. So we took that ovate ponic, hollowed it out so it would fit over the healing abutment. This is the two-month healing of the immediate extraction and implant in the number 11 spot. And this is the stay plate. We'll look at the healing with the stay plate out. Okay, and she's about ready to go for the restoration. This implant is really quite long, and so I think two and a half months should be fine. She can get started on the restoration. We'll look at the x-ray next. Okay, so we've transitioned from a tooth that had some pretty severe compromise to an implant that's ready to be restored. So we were getting ready to restore this implant, but she got some swelling here, and now you can see that she has some pocketing. So before we do the restoration, we're definitely going to need to do a repair. So we're going to be doing a tab flap here, opening this up and grafting this on this site. Okay. 
recording now. Yes. That's pretty good. Cool. I want to fix it. This gel is in a is a reverse phase medium, and at body temperature it gets harder. This is a one month healing of the implant repair on number eleven. We'll take a look at how the stay plate looks next. Okay, so the implant on number 11, we had some problems here with some pocketing. And then we did a repair, but that repair didn't work. Then we did another repair, and now it's probing like 4 millimeters, and we're good, because this is a 5 millimeter healing abutment. Um, the good thing, too, is that we haven't lost any of the tissue profile or gotten any recession here, so she's ready to go with the restoration. So this is our final restoration on tooth number 11 and um, we'll take a look at the x-ray next.